I want y'all to start being honest with our legends, okay? MC Hammer. Legend, yes. Legendary peak, legendary fall off, okay? Yo, what's poppin' world? I am Mouse Jones. This is Wax Back, only on Rock the Bells. Now. the title you see exactly what we're about to get into the bullshit's about to begin so before you get your shiny pants in a tough i want y'all to share like comment all that good stuff okay let the people know what's going on over here we at rock the bells doing some good things all right today i'm talking about a legendary man here not just any one hit wonder we're talking about mc him him i don't know what this did i don't know it hurt a little bit but i'll never do it again but I'll tell you this, Hammer is a legend, certified legend, hits with Elmo, multiple Grammys, multiple American Music Awards, multiple sales, the only diamond selling, like, he, listen, when it comes to accolades, he's not to be played with, okay? The first ever hip hop act to receive a diamond certification. That's huge. But also what's just as big is his downfall. He went up here, and then it's like, boom. Okay, but I want to talk about the good. Hammer came out with You Can't Touch This, that first album, took 357 crew on tour, did a lot of good in the world, but a lot of people on. Hammer then shot one of the most expensive music videos to date in order to launch his campaign for his new album, Too Legit To Quit. Came out to abysmal sales and eventually led to him being dropped from his label. <laughs> Bankruptcy issues, we know the story. But Hammer got his moment, and his moment was it was huge, it was astronomical. Hammer did all this. Everything. I read down the stat sheet, it reads like LeBron at the Lakers the year they won the championship. This is what I say to you people. I want y'all to start being honest with our legends, okay? MC Hammer. Legend, yes. Legendary peak, legendary fall off. Okay, Hammer bought the drop crotch pants with the shiny pants and the, he had like leotard tops yeah, and it, it was a shag, but it was a jerry curl. He had three slits in the side of his head trying to wild out. He had on the preacher glasses. It was a lot going on with Hammer. Hammer, you were the moment. Hammer, you were the late 80s, early 90s, yes. Then you did pumps in a bump. We won't have to talk about that here though. Okay? Now, with all that being said, let's get into the actual, waxual, factual. Let's get into what? The scale. What's the scale, Mouse? The scale is how I properly rank and rate these albums, songs, moments, and artists by their cultural impact and relevance, okay? So, Hammer for me is getting a four. Tell you why Hammer gets a four, because this huge moment that happened with Hammer happened in almost like a vacuum. We all seen it happen, we all seen it go away, and nothing was different. But the only thing that probably was different is artists probably got like better accountants and paid their taxes and well, no, they didn't. So like I said, nothing was different after Hammer. Uh, he it Just this big moment happened and everybody went on about their business. Also, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, he made pumps in a bump. Hell no. Nah. That happened. That really happened. I'm not making that up. I'm not being facetious here. That he really, can we play just a little bit of pumps in a bump like right here? Okay. I don't know. I'm just telling my truth, okay? These are my opinions, okay? And you'll never change it. Just my opinion, not the opinion of the people I work for, the great network. If you feel that strongly, send all your hate mail to me, okay? You can like, share, and comment, okay? Until then, I am Mouse Jones. This has been Wax Facts, only on Rock the Bells, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!